as you know, over 2019, I have been refurbishing a lot of vacuum cleaners for other people. <coughs> and most of that, I'll be honest, has been paid for with good old fashioned money. However, I am not a sensible person. So in this box is actually part payment because I've got a few machines from Mr. James for the Pure Power, Hoover Junior and Panasonic machines. This is a vacuum cleaner. It is a very exciting vacuum cleaner. This is a vacuum cleaner that we are going to unbox and see what it is. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. I haven't got my camera set properly. How are you today? Yes, inside this huge box, which just realized I don't actually have any scissors on me. That was very, very thinny. We have a key. We'll try a key. Is a vacuum cleaner. This is actually a brand new vacuum cleaner. I think, well, it was, James got it brand new. He's used it a little bit. And he said, well, do you want it in payment, part payment for the machines you refurbished for? Me? And I've always wanted a machine like that. So I said, yes, please. Now the reason it's in this outer box is because he was going to stick it on eBay and got it all ready to list. Yeah, packed it up inside this nice box. I forgot gaffer tape tears quite nicely, so this isn't actually going to be that difficult. I got it ready to sell. The problem is, well, it might be a problem, he says it smells a little bit iffy. A little bit musty. And he wasn't that keen to sell it and get the comeback if it did explode, which is understandable. So, I got it, really. What is it? Well, as you can see from the video title, it is a SIBO. It is a very exciting SIBO. Which SIBO is it? Well, this is a SIBO with a telescopic chrome wand. In very good condition. It's a little bit blemished. I'll be honest, I could probably send that up to the great Mr. Hoover Lux and he would have that sorted out in a jiffy. I could probably do it myself. It's really not too bad. There's the box, look. And this is actually what makes this machine very cool indeed. It's the version with the power head. God, they're soft bristles. It has the ETL powered nozzle. Yes, very cool indeed. I like power head cylinders. I've never had many in my life. Now, can we get this out of its outer box without uh, throwing it everywhere? Because then we can look at the box itself. There's a SIBO Airbelt C, an older model. I'm trying to see if there's a sticker. Ah, here we go. See the about C3.1 cylinder vacuum cleaner, 1500 watts, has some filtration, some suction, the furniture protection belt, whisper quiet, it is in blue, 240 volts, serial number K402511. I might be able to date this. I have had SIBO date X series machines for me before using the serial number. So we might give that a go. What else do we have? Ooh, never opened. This is the combination carpet and hard floor nozzle. Very familiar design, this because Dyson used it on the DCO2. 
house. Very nice action there. I think it's a Wessel Work design. But it will be being a Seabo, won't it? Because they're made in Germany. So yes, very nice, very new. Of course it's new, we just unboxed it. <laughs> design there, but yeah, floor brush there, so we shall do that, get some of the bubble wrap off. Here we have the hose. The powered hose. Look, there's adjustments on the handle. Look, it's wires poking out. <laughs> they obviously weren't that good at building hoses with inbuilt power. It looks unused. Maybe James didn't use it that much. Put that there. Then we have the clean of itself. Pop that just there for a second because we have some bags. Luckily, these take the Sebo Automatic X bags. I didn't actually bring a nice fleecy one with me, so we might have to chuck one of those in. And the manual, I think, um, yeah, I don't know, we've got the manual for the turbo brush. Basically, we've got the machine manual there. May not have had it in the first place. Don't actually know. We shall have a look in a bit. So there is the box of tea, so we can get that out of the way. Ooh. All that's sticking to everything. Let us peel the sellotape back. Obviously James has put it back in its packaging. And open this cleaner. I've never had one before. They are very, well, I remember them being new. I remember these being new because I nearly bought a K back in the day. They're very new. Very, very, very expensive. First odd thing actually is that there is a nice SIBO Roundel 3D badge thing stuck over the top of the normal SIBO logo. But let's bring you down a bit saying that because I want to go for this as well. Because I'm quite excited to like big toys. There is a Ah, here we go, look. Operating manual in attachment cover. It is. There we go, look, crikey, that's tiny. Well, look, it's like a Volvo, it's got side impact protection. There we go, look, so there's the manual. God, that makes a change from the massive thick Bibles that they give with these things. So we have the manual, ah, here's the ratings plate. 1200 watts, etc. We have basically Sebo X series tools. So they're, oh, that's very thin. I can see through that. There's the upholstery brush. Here's the dusting brush, comes the standard. Here is the crevice tool. Very nice indeed. So we'll pop those back in for now. Ah, that way. There we go. Close that for a... No, something's not right. There we go. You can see a moulding mark look for probably another style of power takeoff. This one has it built into the hose. We have on-off switch cord rewind and underneath, I do believe, is where... Yes. We find a brand new unused bag. A brand new unused, oh that smells new, exhaust filter. And oh, yeah, well, I'm going to have to read the manual. Changing the filters. Ah! Pulls out to reveal. Ah, I think this must be the post motor filter. In there. This must be the pre motor filter in there. Yeah, it is brand new. Literally, this has seen no use at all. Fantastic. So that goes on there. And that closes down. That is exactly the same. 
clip thing as the as the automatic X series. Oh, they did reuse a lot of stuff on this, didn't we? The cable. Let's test the cord reel action. Very nice indeed. Don't know if it's on. No. With the airflow is louder than the motor. I can smell something though. Let's take this on. Let's see if we can turn it on a bit lower. Oh, there we go. It doesn't sound, it's not horrific. <laughs> I can't even breathe that. I definitely got a waft of something, but it's not running that hot. It gets hot quickly, but I think it, I think it will by design. I don't think that's going to be horrific. I mean, the only way to tell, obviously, is going to be to use it. So, let's use it. The old ones do though, and lift this back this up. But I'll be honest, that's not what I'm most excited about. I'm most excited about this. I love vacuums and power heads. They've always been so out of my reach as well, until now when, you know, I haven't paid anything for this in money terms, I've just worked for it. You always try and work for your stuff rather than, you know, pay loads of money for it if you can, because it's always so much more satisfying. Um, which way? Um, well, that's come on without the main. Um, yeah, that, that's come on without the main motor coming on. So that's a little bit strange. Whoa. I know what James means, I can smell something now. The little clip for the air belts cut out as well. The thing is, I'm sure this isn't actually going to be that bad to find a motor for because I can't imagine it's not going to use a standard SIBO motor. Let's get some carpet with a pile to show this amazing turbo head off. <laughs> we can do it without the motor being on. Oh, that joint there is quite wobbly. 
See, you've got no power. <laughs> I'm not sure if it should do that. I'll be honest. I need to read the manual. Oh, that is incredible. So there we go, really. I have an amazing new toy. Sebo that I would never be able to afford and buy. These would go for so much money on eBay. It would just be silly. And now I have one. I think he's going to be absolutely fine. I'm just checking to see whether it's supposed to. It does say the brush automatically starts when the vacuum cleaner is switched on. Technically, it is switched on at the machine. It then just obviously stays on when it's on the hose. Meh. What can you do? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We shall see this more. I'm going to, I want to use it a fair bit just to see if it is going to be okay or not. I shall fit a fleecy bag to it rather than these to keep it spotless. Whilst it is spotless, it doesn't need a refurb yet. And yeah, think of something else to do with it. So, for now, thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you soon. Bye bye.